Hey fellow tennis nerds, in this spec check we will look at Marat Safin's racket and the specs. It's a beautiful PT10 Prestige Classic 600. You can see that with the plastic collar here above the grip. That is the way of the Prestige Classic. The Prestige Tour doesn't have that, for example, and some other models that are similar. This is an 89.5 square inch head size racket. Uh, they used to measure it the other way around from the other brands. So when an older head racket used to be, say it was 93, it was really 89.5. And when they said it was 98, it was really 95. So you will see that over and over again, probably in many of my other videos I mentioned this. Uh, so Safin had a leather grip, uh, loads of lead tape up at the hoop. Uh, and uh, this PT-10 was really not something he changed from. I mean, this is quite difficult to generate pace and you have a very small sweet spot with this racket, but he liked it so much it didn't really change. He did move uh, up to the 291.2, which was the head IG Prestige mid. Uh, which offered a little bit more pop. Uh, so he moved up to that towards the end of his career. I think he's still hitting with that during the time he's been coaching, but mainly I don't see Marat a lot on the tennis courts, maybe some Champions Tour and stuff like this, but generally, he, sadly, he, he's a little bit missed in the tennis scene. But uh, let's have a look at the specs. So these are the Armstrong specs. Three hundred fifty-two grams Armstrong, and if you've seen my Söderling video with his racket, uh, this is very similar and the Sutterlings was around 370 with strings, which this will also be approximately. It balances around 30.9 centimeters in balance. You add strings, you have a almost towards 32 centimeters, which is like six points head light. So relatively head light. Uh, let's now look at the swing weight. So unstrung swing weight, 338.5, let's do it one more time. That means you add around 30 points for the strings, uh, makes it 368. So close to 370 swing weight, which is in Andy Murray territory. And this is an even more low powered racket than the PT57A that Murray or Sutherland uses, or used to use at least in some case. So yeah, the PT10 from Marat, uh, a real log to swing, but thanks to the smaller head, it's still quite maneuverable. And uh, so this was the spec check of Marat Safin. Hope you liked the video. Have a nice day now, and don't forget to play some tennis.